Less than a week into the land maneuver in Gaza, the IDF says forces are at the gates of Gaza City. That's the word from Brigadier General Itzik Cohen, commander of the 162nd Division currently located deep inside Gaza. Gaza City is the capital of the Hamas terror enclave, and the top Hamas leaders are believed to be hiding in a web of underground tunnels. Foreign reports indicate that an Israeli armored force has encircled Gaza City and cut it from the south of the enclave. The commander went on to say that during five days in Gaza, the IDF had destroyed much of Hamas's abilities, attacked its strategic facilities, its array of explosives, and its underground tunnels. We received a task to go and decisively finish Hamas, he said. It's a long task, and we will win. The Israeli Defense Forces says it carried out air and artillery strikes on Hezbollah targets in Lebanon after Hezbollah fired at an aircraft, rockets were launched toward Mount Dove, and a surface-to-air missile was launched at an unmanned aerial vehicle. The IDF struck the cell in the failed targeting of the UAV. Ground forces fired artillery shells toward the source of rocket fire in the Mount Dove and Mount Hermon region. The latest cross-border clash came ahead of tomorrow's long-anticipated speech by Lebanese Hezbollah terrorist leader Hassan Nasrallah. Nasrallah has been largely invisible since the Hamas attack on Israel on October 7th and is yet to indicate whether his forces would enter the war, potentially opening a second front for Israel. At the same time Nasrallah is due to speak in Beirut, U.S. Secretary of State Blinken is due to arrive in Jerusalem to coordinate moves with Israeli leaders. Before leaving Washington, Blinken held talks with Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman with the Israel-Hamas war the focus of their discussions. They also reportedly discussed the potential Hezbollah entry into the war as well as potential moves by Iran. Blinken will reportedly be trying to advance the idea that a revitalized Palestinian Authority should take control of Gaza if Israel succeeds in its goal of toppling Hamas, with regional partners and international agencies playing an interim role. So we know the news is volatile and fast-paced, and we want to let you know that ILTV's new app is now available. So if you want to stay connected to the latest news from Israel, the Middle East, and the Jewish world, download our app now on all your devices. It's available in the App Store for both Android and iPhone.